Hi, it's Steph. This is my very first YouTube video ever, and um, it's going to be IVF YouTube videos. Just to give everybody a heads up who's on here, so if you don't want to be on here, get off. <laughs> and um, it's really important to me, as it is for anybody going through IVF, and I've had so much fun looking at other people's stories and just seeing the the position that they're in is, is the same situation that my husband and I have been going through. And so it's been very helpful, very exciting to even see um, the, the baby dust and the little beans that have stuck and, and then the, the whole pregnancy and the baby as the end result. And that's what we want. Um, we've been married for about eight and a half years, a month shy. And we have been actively trying for about five years, and we've had three failed attempts at IUI. So now the next uh, step is to do IVF. And our doctor recommends IVF with ICSI, which is in vitro fertilization with intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So it's a little bit more invasive and... Um, Hopefully it'll stick. That's the goal. So, um, what's going to be happening um, is I'm sharing my story since other people have been so helpful to me. Hopefully I can be helpful to somebody else. I know that us, us girls going through IVF try to find anything out there that's encouraging or positive. And um, if mine turns out not that positive in the end, there's still hope for me. We're still going to have a family. And this is still... Um, the journey we were supposed to go through, I firmly believe. So we're just one step closer to to seeing where we're going to end up. So um, today I am on cycle day 26 of um, this month's cycle. And so on cycle day 3, um, which I've been having 29 day cycles, um, typically for the last about three months. So I'm expecting that I start my menstrual cycle in about three days. So on cycle day three of that is when my doctor wants me to start birth control. That's going to be for about 12 to 21 days. Um, the birth control, uh, it's weird, but it's to help suppress the follicles. I've never had to use it until I'm trying to conceive. So it's a little funny, but that's how it works and I'm going to do anything to make it work. So, um, after the 8 to 12, or 12 to 21 days of birth control, while she'll be monitoring me, um, she's going to let me know when to start the injectables, and that's going to last for about 8 to 12 days, she says. When I'm ready, the next step will be the trigger shot, which is the Ovidrel injection. So that's going to help me to release all my eggs, and then about 36 hours later, I'm going to go in for a minor surgical procedure, and they're going to extract all of my eggs. Um, I've read that women typically create about anywhere from 12 to even 17 eggs. Um, and then sometimes there's hyperstimulation, which you don't want. That's not good, because then you have to wait until the next cycle. So. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. And then on, on that day as well, my husband goes in and we're gonna use his sperm and they're going to fertilize the eggs that day. So it's gonna start forming the embryos and that's gonna be over the next six days on day three to six is when I need to come in somewhere in between there depending on I think they're called blastocytes, depending on what stage they're at. That They have to be a certain number. I'm not really sure yet. I can get back to you on that. But that is when, when they're on that good number, that's when they'll have me in. So it's anywhere from day three to six. And they're going to transfer two embryos. And then about 10 to 12 days after that is when my blood pregnancy test will be. So the days are... Um, pretty spread out. Um, the doctor I work for, you know, he wants to know the time frame and when I'm ovulating and I have to try to explain to him, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> if I did, I'd probably be a millionaire, but I don't. So I just gave him the shortest time frame to the longest and I said, 
in this time frame is when I will have to go to the hospital, <laughs> probably multiple times um, throughout that whole month. So um, I'm excited to do these videos, not only for just IVF seekers, you know, watching watching other people's videos, just like I was, but also for my family and friends, and then it saves me from having to tell our story over and over and over. So I'm very excited to be starting this process with my husband, and um, we will keep you posted, and wish us luck. Thanks.